guys welcome back to my channel so I have a question for you did you ever buy Anastasia dip brow and just find that it just did not work for you and it just moved around a lot and it had too much slip and it just wouldn't grip your eyebrows the way that you wanted it because you see all of these bomb girls on Instagram and they just slaying because their eyebrows is just popping and yours is not working with this shit and you just like Ugh, this shit is garbage but no actually I figured out how to use it for myself so I thought I would show you guys how to use it so I guess this could be called my updated brow routine because I've been loving this method the most as of late I like to put my brows on first because when I put my foundations and stuff I feel like my brow product turns a bit grayish and I do not like gray brows. So I always put my brows on first and I either go to the eyes or the face it just depending on how I feel during that day you know. If you did not know my brows are microbladed. If you do not know what microblading is I will link a video that I talked about it down below when I got um that procedure done. It's been about nine months since I had it done and my brows look so bomb. I just went to my best friend Arissa who did my eyebrows. She's a um, licensed esthetician. She owns a shop called The Lash Trap down here in LA. So if you are interested in getting, you know, eyelash extensions or your eyebrows microbladed done, I will link her information down below too. So the brushes that I've been using to do my eyebrows as of late is this angled brush from the art store. This is an art store brush and what it means is just this is an actual paint brush from the art store. I got this brush from my Michaels? My, yeah, Michaels Art Supply. I get a lot of my like, you know, fine detailing work from the art store be only because those brushes are so soft and they're so thin and precise you could get you could just start carving out your art brows with brushes like this from the art store. Um, I also have this MAC 208 brush. It's way smaller than the um, the Artster brush, but it's still really fine as well. So I find that, you know, this is a really good brush for your brow, this MAC brush. And this brush right here, this is just a, a, a square um, straight brush from Morphe. And I just use this to clean up under my brow. We'll also need your Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I use the color chocolate because this is the color that looks best on my skin tone. You're going to need some type of concealer um, of your preference. NARS right now, hands down, has the best concealer for me. Um, I've been using it for a couple of months and I really love this concealer. And you're going to need some Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to show you why you're going to need this. Alright, I'm going to get a little close. So y'all going to be all up in my face. So I can show you what I'm talking about. So what I noticed was my brows had too much slip. Um, there's no product on my face. But you know, fresh skin, moisturizer, um... Um, primer is on my face but that's it and so when I went to go put on this product it would just slip around so what I did was I went into my Laura Mercier powder and I use any brush and I just literally put powder on my eyebrows first and this will mattify my eyebrows and what this does it just gives the product something to cling to and it won't slip around okay so this is my dip brow and all I do a little bit of this product goes a long way so I'm just gonna graze my brush at the bottom of the pan and just get some product on it and while I'm doing this I'm flattening flattening out my brush so it could be a sharp fine tip so when I go in to fill my eyebrows it'll just be sharp lines I always like to start at the bottom and build my eyebrows up. Remember, my brows are microbladed, so I don't have to do a lot of work to them. And I don't have to do a lot of that, um, you know, push your eyebrows for upwards to fill it in, push it down to fill it in. I don't, I don't have to do that shit because I ain't got them, I don't have eyebrow hairs to do that. So all I do, I'm just making out the shape and how thick I want my eyebrows. Look 
finish filling in my eyebrows I like to go into my NARS concealer in Amande and I just coat my flat brush and I'm going to clean up under my eyebrow I usually either use my fingers or like a buffer brush and then I'll blend in the concealer. Well, I'll blend out the concealer. And if need be, I will go back in with my brush that has the powder, the product on it and I will clean up my bottom line a little bit more. So this is the before and after. So this is the ending result of my eyebrow tutorial, my updated eyebrow tutorial. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in conjunction with Laura Mercier Powder. Listen, these two together are hands down the bomber's eyebrow products ever like my eyebrows is on point boy like they just bomb and so you know I have no complaints um, I will be buying another one of these because this is almost dried out I had this for almost two years and never really touched it I actually use this for like eyeshadow bases for like brown smokies or like bronzy golden eyes and now that I can actually use it the right way <laughs> that I'm supposed to use it so anyway I hope this helps somebody out there because I was struggling with this product and you know it only makes sense to make a matte base for you to apply this so don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask me because you know I will be commenting down below answering all you guys questions because y'all my best friends yes 